Hello everybody, Gary Mossa with Mossa & Associates here at Compass and welcome to our virtual reality home tour or open house that we're having in a brand new listing today, uh, 1858 Chatsworth. We're right here in Point Loma, which is said, if you know the history of Point Loma, this is said to be the birthplace of California. We can tell you the story all about it later, but there's a ton of history here. A lot of these homes were built mid to early 1900s. This particular home was originally built in 1927. Uh, it's a Tudor style home, which has been uh, updated and modernized a little bit. Kept the old uh, the old character, but also just brought in some of the new modern flair. So really excited about this new listing, but uh, because of current situations, we are going to implement our virtual reality home tour service, which again, we've had for a couple of months now anyways, uh, but now in times like this, it makes more sense than ever. So if you do have your virtual reality goggles, go ahead and put them on now, or if you're just seeing this on the 360 uh, camera like Facebook, again, you can move your camera screen around and actually see the perspective that you wanna see. So again, we're right here on Chatsworth. We're at the, um, in the community of Point Loma Heights, right on the border of Freeport, um, Right, right on the border, basically, of those two communities, but we're in Point Loma Highlands. So, welcome to the living room. This particular home is just under 1,700 square feet, uh, three beds and two baths. On a good size lot, there's a, there's a nice backyard, uh, but again, we've got some beautiful beams that were uh, you know, put into the home. Again, a lot of these touches were original. They did keep some of the original windows uh, to try to keep that character beautiful fireplace right here in the center of the uh, of the home but we do have some updated uh, like light sconces that they put around to kind of modernize a little bit but still has that rustic uh, that rustic feel uh, we do have new wood flooring throughout the entire pla uh, the entire place uh, unfortunately the wood flooring that was in here wasn't really salvageable so they refloored with you know similar to what was the type of wood flooring that was in here but all new stuff so here's the dining room Great, nice, big windows, almost floor to ceiling windows, uh, getting a lot of light inside here. Someone may want to build a fence at the very front of that to kind of, you know, fence in the front yard and uh, get a little bit more privacy, maybe a little bit buffer, uh, a little bit of a buffer from the uh, from the road out there. Here is the kitchen, kind of galley galley style kitchen, but all new uh, cabinetry appliances. Uh, we've got a Frigidaire uh, appliance package in here as well. We've got the microwave down below, all stainless steel. Let me give you from this angle as well. White subway tile backsplash. Now, although the original windows are still in the home, uh, they've been uh, updated and kind of rebuilt to, to be able to work a little bit better. Um, we have a full-on laundry room here. Let's go see the bedrooms and then we'll take you into the backyard. Does anybody know any beautiful stories about Point Loma that they'd like to share? I mean, right now we are in the center of Point Loma, so you are minutes from Sunset Cliffs, you're minutes from the playa, you're minutes from the village, and um, excuse me, like the Point Loma, uh, the, the Carrillo National Monument. Uh, as well as Liberty Station. So you're like right smack dab in the middle of minutes to be to anything that's, that's all in Point Loma. So great location to be here. Uh, so that was the second bath. This is bedroom three. Mirrored closet doors, new light fixture, all light bright. I believe they said they changed all the doors. To verify that. Hallway closet, good storage. Again, this is an older home, which is typically, you know, built in the early 1900s. Uh, typically, did not have a whole lot of closet space. The master, had, actually, you know, before we go into the master, let's go into the second bedroom. Okay. Again, original windows that have been rebuilt, so they function incredibly well. Reaching the closet here. Master bedroom, there is a slider uh, that's uh, like a vinyl dual pane slider. And if you can see that, it walks out to the patio out here. Well, I'm not able to open that, but if you can see through the glass, it's a nice little coffee patio. 
It's been raining, so things look a little bit wet out there. Oh, this home also does have AC. Uh, and I'm reminded by seeing the AC unit that's right outside the window here, which is very unique for this, uh, for this area. In the master bath with a great size shower. New vanity, quartzite countertops. Okay, let's go out to the backyard and we'll check that all out. What's up, B? B, how are you? Hey, Gary. Good to see you. You too. Love it. Beautiful. All right, so if you didn't see, there is parking for two cars uh, in the um, in the front driveway, and we have the garage off of the uh, alleyway in the back. It's a one-car garage, good enough space to park in, uh, but you can also park off the main road, and the gate allows you to drive all the way to the front of the garage here so you can protect the car. New water heater here. The garage still open. So... Here is the garage. Again, old school garage, detached. New garage door and opener. Small little driveway here. And again, this is parking accessible from the alleyway in the back, leading right to your garage. Also access to the yard from that side. Check out the backyard. I love the stucco finish on the outside of this house. It just shows the uh, the early 19th century character and the quality of construction that they were using back then. Oh, the other thing is about this that the roofs are completely new. Uh, you do have some newer light fixtures on the outside of the home here as well, but but new roof, new flooring. I believe that here's the new AC. It's a little wet. I'm actually not going to step in the mud, and I'll confirm those things for you as well if you're interested. So what do you guys think so far? Pretty cool house, right? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. If you do want uh, more information, please DM me below. Or if you'd like me to refilm the house or certain parts of the house and get more specific photos for you. Again, thank you for joining our virtual reality uh, open house home tour. And again, if you like this uh, format of viewing homes while you're sitting home on the couch uh, or just in your home so you don't have to go out, fight the crowds, you know, drag the kids or whoever out to you know, 10, 15 different open houses, let us do that work for you. We can send you back the video and our committed buyers all get a free set of virtual reality goggles and uh, you can watch this in virtual reality at home, decide on the ones that actually are worth your time to go out and see. You can get rid of the others that you would not want to buy and save you that much time uh, in trying to find the right one. Again, Gary Moss is signing off. We'll see you soon. DM me below. Let me know your opinions on what you think about the, uh, the sort of format of seeing homes and if you have any questions on this incredible home here in 1815 Chatsby. Thanks again. Have a great day.